Today I'm going to show you how to paint a iron bench with webbing. It's, there's kind of a trick to it and I made a lot of mistakes in the beginning so as you can see it's about three quarters done on the bottom and I've already done the top um, so that you can see just my finest work right now. So I have a drop cloth underneath this. So I don't get any paint on the patio. And the trick is to dip it in there very, very little. Even less than that, but I was picking it up. Okay, and then I use the paint on like a larger surface first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint this. And I want my last stroke to be long and light. And then I'm going to start painting the webbing. And I'm going on a vertical like this because that's the direction that the webbing goes. If you just dip it in there then you'll get runs like this. So the trick is to dip it in there, do a large surface, and nobody's actually going to see that anyways because it's on the bottom, and then I go and get rid of all this rust. This is Rust-Oleum. Primary color yellow. Uh, I found something out too when mixing these paints. Like when I mixed red and blue, um, the color gets duller when you mix them together. So uh, if you want something bright purple, you might want to buy purple paint. Don't make the same mistake I made. And I just did it wrong. I just dipped it in there and put it on here because um, I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing since I was busy talking, right? So probably there's going to be some runs on the top just because I wasn't paying attention to what I'm doing. So again, you dip it in there a little bit. You do a large surface to get rid of most of the paint that's on there. And then use very little paint to do the webbing. And after I go in this vertical fashion, then I can go through and do it in this vertical fashion so that I get it in every possible crevice and cranny. So uh, for more videos like this, where I show you how to do stuff, please uh, subscribe and hit the like button. Thanks. Bye.